Oh, man. Somebody better call Dr. Umar's ass because holy shit, I'm going to be talking about Black Cat again. God damn, who made this? You need to be arrested immediately. This is this is horrible. He needs to be on put on a watch list or something. <laughs> What the fuck? All right, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. All right, I'm gonna be pumping out videos. I'm almost at 50k. I just need two more days to get 50,000. I think I could do it. I'm at 49,776. I think that's the last I saw. So if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and support the channel. We're gonna be talking about Black Cat and her role in the game, her problem, and and many things that actually the first game kind of fumbled upon. Now in this game, of course, she's already 100% confirmed. She's already in the trailer, the first trailer that or the reveal trailer that we got she's in the she's the first person that we actually see pop up for of course the new york map that craven's looking at so we know that she's 100 percent in the game and if you don't remember what she did in the last game uh spoilers for the say it never sleeps dlc like anybody's gonna play that shit anyway um she essentially fakes having a son with peter which honestly is the most devious and fucking cold-hearted shit a woman can do and then she essentially fakes her own death for about um two dlc stories and at the very end of the last one she saves you and then runs away so i i really hate what they did with her in the first game like she was legitimately ass Hey, wait a minute come on stop i'm trying to not get demonetized bro dr umar Lord, hey have whoa mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. I am. We must I am. stay focused. I think her characterization, I mean, it was spot on. I think the, the first part of the DLC was great. Um, but everything else after that, you know, when she just randomly appears and saves you and gives you all the information, it, it was like, fuck. They really, they fumbled it. They fumbled the bag with her character, but they can redeem her. They can redeem her in this story. And it's mainly because of the symbiote, Sue. I think that she would be perfect to be... Peter's enabler in many ways, basically pushing Peter to the edge of just maybe potentially almost quitting, but then staying on it and keeping that symbiote. Whenever Peter starts having doubts about even keeping the symbiote, Black Cat's there to be like, no, 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 don't worry. It's great for you. You're you're amazing. And of course, Peter's feeding into that. The symbiote's loving that. So it's trying to attract it to Black Cat as much as possible. And of course, it would be a very kind of good parallel to have to web of shadows where in web of shadows black cat is one of the main characters where you make multiple choices with her and there's a multitude of things that you can do with her character but i think that in this game they really 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 need to play into that they really need to play into black cat being manipulative and very very evil <laughs> Not like evil to the point of fucking, you know, villainy, but to the point of making Peter continually stay on the symbiote. And I think that that's a very interesting storyline that they can play with in many ways and have it be a, a very weird dichotomy between MJ and Black Cat. So there are many things that they could do with her. Um, if they really, really want to, they can kill her off too. I think that killing her off would really hit Peter in many ways and that would also help with the symbiote you know peter not wanting to be enabled anymore him continuously being addicted to the symbiote you know having that one person that's trying to feed into your ego having her completely wiped off the face of the planet well there you go now you have of course a reason to kind of get rid of it and in many ways maybe it was peter's fault to begin with so i i really like you know what they did with her in the first part you know faking her son that was genius cold-blooded but fucking genius but if they kind of do something along those lines of feeding into Peter's fucking ego, feeding into his power, you know, feeding into the symbiote's type of ego too, the one that it develops over time, perfect. It's a perfect match. So I really hope they do that. If she doesn't die, you know, again, I, I still want to see her as the worst influence to peter as possible even if she doesn't die so if she's still gonna be alive even after he gets the symbiote and after he gets rid of the symbiote i mean maybe she still comes back and be like where is it why aren't you the same it's just like a fucking constant you know bickering in your ear trying to like make you come back trying to draw you back and whispering that little devil on the side of your shoulder trying to draw you back into the symbiote i would love that i think that that would be a good way to kind of take her character and it made many ways maybe they could try to redeem her but like let's be honest the way what she did to you in that first dlc you should not trust black cat i don't give a fuck if she saved you at the end of the last dlc she's evil she's that was hardcore disrespect so personally i hope that they go that route and i, I would love to see what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below don't forget to like comment subscribe for more videos in the future and i'll see you guys in my next one peace out